Welcome to the Prop Hunt 1v1 Death Run Race. That's right, guys. I have another brand new Prop Hunt Death Run map for you guys. And this one is specifically a 1v1 map. So you have your blue side, you have your green side, and you guys race to see who becomes the best prop. Now, this is meant to be played best two out of three. However, I did not set it to be round because... I didn't know exactly how that was gonna affect things in the map. But basically, when the first person wins, just play again. And then if that same person wins, then they have won. Or if you win, then you do a tiebreaker third round, and whoever wins that one is the winner. So, of course, this was made by myself, so subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. And of course, use code AestheticBlitz in the Fortnite item shop. That would be amazing. And if you don't like me, then use your favorite creator's code because I'm sure they would highly appreciate that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and run through this map really fast for you guys in a bit of an uncut style because I wanna show you everything about it. However, people seem to not enjoy when I kinda go through my maps and explain things. So, I'm gonna try and explain things less. Obviously, you will see a few repeating things from my first map, which by the way, if you did not play, I will have that linked in the description and in the top right of your screen, whatever way is right on my camera. And then just like that, you are done with the first level. So when you're doing this race, please make sure you read every single sign and transform into the new prop instantly. Because again, it is a race, but you still have to follow the rules of the death run. And those rules are turning into new props as you go throughout the map. And of course, never trying to cheat. And you have to collect every single uh, shoe, otherwise you won't win. So right here, pick up the fries, uh, go through all of the traps with the speed pad, bam, boop, there you go. That level is really cool for a few reasons. I will explain them after I'm done playing through the map. I do this first try. Yes, I can, there we go. You can like weirdly glide when you're a prop. Let's go in here. Go through the, uh, the food parkour. You're literally a, a food stand, not really a food stand, but you're just uh, a ton of food parkouring over more food. Literally my favorite type of parkour now is prop hunt parkour. It's so much fun. You will see the very last level is hysterical. It looks amazing. Take up the tires, go through these things that you cannot go under if you're human. Always cool. And then you're going onto the tires that you passed when you hit the geyser. So you're kind of using the same area for another jump, which is amazing. I might change this a little bit. There we go, made it. Just because there's a way to where you can cheat that. So if you do play the map and it is a little bit different, that is the reason why. Which, by the way, the map code is in the video description. I will try and have it in the very tippity top because people were confused as to where it was on my last map. Because I haven't published it yet, so you can't see it in the top middle. So yeah, just click uh, show more details there in the bottom and you will be able to see it. So here we go, moving on to the next level. We have some Neos. By the way, this map is a seven level map, so pretty short. But again, it's meant to be a best two out of three which is uh, pretty cool, pretty entertaining for YouTube videos, I feel. Now, now the, the exercise equipment does get affected by traps, so you want to evade them. I, of course, like doing it in my nice way. If you do that very, very well, some of the traps may not even go off, which is really, really cool. Oh, God! Or they will go off and you will die. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and if you do die during that point, I guess it's a good thing I did, you go all the way back to the Neos. So try and make sure you focus up right there and you don't die. The hitboxes are really weird, as I'm sure you guys could, could have told from the first death run map. Oh god, there we go, got it. And then jump, and we're good. Okay, and now we're transforming into a little janitor's set of items. I don't know why, why can't I think of what it's called? I have no idea, I'm literally brain farting right now. So you have some text here saying, are you winning? Just to kind of either make you sad if you're losing or make you happy that you are indeed winning. And this is, yet again, some more Flappy Bird, because I think it's really cool. This is by far the best version of Flappy Bird in Fortnite, in my opinion. So you have a little stopping point right there just to take a, take a breather if you need it. And then, oh, we're going down. I kind of forgot. I literally just finished making the map. I built it all in one day, by the way, so pretty impressive, I'll have to say. A little bit of a longer take right there and get through. There we go. Okay, at this point we have six of the items. I've only died a single one time, which is obviously very impressive. I guess it's not that impressive considering I built the map. Um, by the way, this does reset your inventory. I didn't mention that in my last map because I added it late, otherwise you could cheat the last level. But this time it is there, so the jetpack is taken away. So your new prop gun is right here. Transform into the dinosaur. 
and this is what I was talking about earlier. The final level is doing dinosaur on dinosaur parkour. It's it's great, man. It, it's literally the greatest thing. And in fact, the greatest thing I will show you once we finish this. Now, a pro tip for the Triceratops here. Jump onto the horn. You will fall. There it is. Back up and then jump. It's a lot easier. You're probably going to die on that a few times if you're not watching the video. But that is my pro tip for that side. Go on to the long neck right here. Get the very TTV stretch, by the way. Uh, T-Rex. And you're done. Like I said, very short map, but it is meant to be played 1v1 and as a best 2 out of 3. Plus, I did it so fast because I literally built the map so I know everything about it. And I could have used it in a faster, but I still stopped and kind of explained some things as we were going. So first off, a big thank you to Cartoonist for helping me with the map. He literally came in clutch. You guys have no idea how strenuous it is to make a 1v1 map. Because you have to build the map itself and then completely replicate it, but mirrored on the other side it literally took so many hours to get the blue side replicated because of course i did the green side first obviously um but yeah we did it and it, it, I, I think it's a really good map i think you guys will enjoy it of course if you want to use a critter code which you should be doing it you can use mine which is acidic blitz i would massively appreciate that and the last text here says gg you won congrats let's collect this last coin and end the game so there you go. So of course, if you are playing this in the proper way, you will have just beaten your friend, and then you will be restarting the game again to get into your best two out of three. Now I would like to say a few things about the map. So if you don't like me explaining things, then now you can leave. But otherwise, if you want to stick around, then stick around. So in my first death run map, I didn't show it on video because I hadn't made it yet, but there was a secret level. I do not want to show you guys the secret level, so if you want to go find it, go to my first Prop Hunt Death Run, I'll have it linked in the description, play it, and find the secret level. Only like six people have found it, and there have been a lot of people that have played the map, at least I'm assuming. I wish there was a counter. Epic, please add it. Thank you. But yeah, there's a point that says to tweet me if you found it, and I've only been tweeted a handful of times, so go find it. But during that secret level, I show you that there are some props that are affected by poison traps and regular traps and electrical fields and all of those cool things, which is why I figured in this death run, I wouldn't make that a secret and I would just show you. Now granted, in that first map, I didn't mean to make it a secret. I literally had no idea that those props could be affected. It's very weird. It's like very few props that can be affected, but then the majority of them can't be. So like the exercise bike can, the flying disc can, the magic carpet at full size can but if you shrink it it no longer can it's very confusing on how it works if any of you guys know exactly how to make them always get affected by traps please let me know but yeah that is really all i have that's all i really wanted to explain um i would like to say that when you are hitting the geyser right here you can basically control how you move as a prop by looking with your mouse or your uh joy con or your thumbstick whatever it may be whatever you're playing on i don't like on your just your phone on your screen whatever it is uh if you look up you will go up more if you like look at a weird angle you can kind of glide your way down like buzz lightyear and if you look straight down you will literally fall straight down so make sure you look at a decent angle to where you can get on there you can use these tires if you want however you do not need to do that as you've seen from this video and again like i was saying I think what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to have this bolted up and then once you get up here you will be triggering um, uh, one of those explosive remote devices and then it will open up that area and then you can jump to it. Now a quick disclaimer, if you cannot do that as a prop, I'm going to have text here that says to turn yourself back into a human and then do it. I'm just trying to get that into this video now because I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing. I mean, either way, if you try to cheat, like if you get on these tires and go this way and get down there to that checkpoint, you literally can't complete the map. So obviously, if you know that this is a thing and you want to try and cheat, it's kind of pointless because if you get to the end, it is physically impossible for you to win because you've skipped this specific item right here. So there's that. I will, of course, try to fix it. It kind of depends. I really wanted this to be like a going through and then coming. Oh my... <sighs> 
My bad. I did not mean to do that. Like I was saying, I was trying to make this level be one where you go through and then come back around and then kind of use it again to get to the next level. I think those are always really, really cool, as I'm sure you've seen from like the Flash Death Run. But yeah, guys, I think that is all we have for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm not going to run through the blue side because, of course, it's literally the exact same thing. One thing I do think is really cool is by pure accident, I managed to make the end directly behind the start. You won't know that unless you're watching this video, I suppose, but I think that was a really cool thing that I did on accident. And it's kind of the reason why I ended it right here, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, if any of you guys beat this map in two minutes, let me know over on Twitter, at the Gamers. I'd appreciate that. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely smash that like button and subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. But other than that, I will talk to you all later. Have a nice day, guys. Oh, wait! I did not show you the really funny thing! There you go. You can become a, a T-Rex and then do the RAR emote. It looks hilarious, sounds hilarious. That is the funny thing I meant to show you. I do apologize for showing it at the end. I did not mean for that to happen. But yeah, now without further ado, I will talk to you all later. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.